Well, the kitchen of your local firehouse is often a place where you can find some great home cooked meals being prepared. News 12's Brian Donahue heading to East Orange today to sample the creation of a team of firehouse cooks who are making a name for themselves in New Jersey and beyond. Oh yeah, I've been looking forward to hearing that sound. The inspiration for the name of the rattling pans of the East Orange Fire Department. A team of four firehouse cooks who, when it comes to the rich tradition of firehouse cooking, are arguably Jersey's cream of the crop. We go in on shift and we say, who wants to eat? What are we cooking for dinner? And then whoever wants to eat, that's what we cook. The rattling pans are just off their debut last month at the World Chili Cooking Championship in South Carolina, where they took fourth place in the firehouse division. They were robbed, if you ask me. But in 2020, they took the top prize in the gourmet division of Cooked and Uncorked, considered the premier New Jersey Fire Department cook-off. The rattling pan success and the deliciousness of their creations is due in no small part to their team leader, Vashti Rael, a fire alarm operator who owned and operated several restaurants, including the Energy Bar in Montclair and Crossroads Cafe in East Orange, before joining the department 11 years ago. How is cooking in a firehouse different from cooking in like... There's no pressure. Oh, yeah. I mean, no it pressure. There's no <laughs> pressure. There's the pressure is burning stuff on the stove when we got to run. Firefighter Mark Gaeta over here dicing peppers. His father owned F&B Fine Catering in Bloomfield. Rounding out the team is firefighter Ernest Cook, who's working the stove, and firefighter Robert Spriggs, who's doing a little bit of everything else. The dishwasher is one of the most important members of the team, right? That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Today, they're making the chili they prepared for the competition, and the list of ingredients proves Rael has studied the art of good chili. There's the suya, a Nigerian spice blend she gets from a secret source in Newark. The smoked Alaskan porter beer she has a friend send her from Alaska. Not to mention the long list of a dozen different spices and sauces that go into that pot, along with buffalo, lamb, ground short rib, and azuki beans. But a little time spent in the kitchen with the rattling pans, you realize the real secret ingredient is the camaraderie. It's meant a great deal because we've been, we've bonded, you know, we developed a great friendship. <laughs> it's, it's just our comedy. That's all. Rattling pans, proof of the bonds forged by working and fighting fires together and by cooking and sharing a great meal. I had no idea how close we were going to get by doing this mm -hmm. because it's just you go into the firehouse and you rely on each other and then we get into this and you again you rely on each other i always feel blessed to hear stories like this but after a while i had heard enough i had to try this chili oh, man. if i've ever had better i can't remember it the rattling pans of east orange long may they rattle i'm brian donahue this is positively new jersey yeah, rattling pans <laughs> of east orange the rattle and pans won the February 2020 cooked and uncorked event for New Jersey Firehouse Cooks with a dish of short rib arancini with herb ricotta marinara. The competition was not held this year due to COVID, so they still hold the trophy into 2022. Oh, if only he brought some back to the station for us to sample. I was going to say that.